Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips that can help you speed up your user's internet browsing speed when you're using SonicWalls content filtering service. The first two tips we're going to find inside the diag.html page on the SonicWall. And you want to scroll down. And the setting you're looking for is to limit on maximum allowed advertised TCP window. And we want to set that value to 256. If that value is any higher, then it's going to cause the package to become fragmented and it's going to make the DPI engine work a lot harder than it needs to when it's doing the filtering process. Second, you want to make sure that you uncheck the enforce host tag search for CFS. Once again, this is a process, it's kind of legacy, uh, and it causes, when enabled, it causes a lot of processing to be used on the URL request and slows down the filtering process. Okay, after those two settings, we'll go ahead and select Accept. And for the next three tips, we want to go into the SonicWall Admin Console, and we want to go to Network, interfaces and configure your WAN interface and inside here you want to scroll down to your DNS servers when content filtering is enabled it queries the DNS servers a lot so you want to make sure that the SonicWall is using the fastest DNS servers that you can find now most companies will put in the IP address of their local Active Directory server or the SBS server and sometimes those servers can be bogged down by you know providing services for all the other users so you want to make sure that the DNS servers that you select are fast in this example we typically use Google's public DNS servers uh, those servers they're free for everybody to use and they're extremely fast For the next tip, you want to go to Advanced, and you want to double check and make sure that your interface MTU size is correct and matching with what your ISP's router is set up for. You want to double check with your ISP and ask them what's the optimal MTU setting you should have on your sonic wall. And then select OK. And for the last and final tip, for the content filtering, instead of using zone-based, you want to use the application rule-based. So if we go into Security Services, Content Filter, and for the CFS policy assignment, instead of user and zone screens, we want to use app rules and select Accept. So now what this is going to do, this is going to switch the content filtering over to using the web application engine to do the content filter. Now to implement that we go to firewall and we need to create a match object and for the object name we'll just call it blocked websites and for the object type we're going to scroll down and select CFS category list and here you'll see all the categories that you can block. For example, we'll block pornography and select OK. Now that we have the match object created, we can create our application rule. So we go to App Rules, Add New Policy, and for the policy name we'll just call this Blocked Websites. For the policy type, you want to select CFS, and we're going to block everybody that's on the network here. For the match object, you want to select the blocked websites, the object we just created a minute ago. And for the action, we want to present them with the CFS blocked page and select OK. And now the SonicWall is going to be using the application rules engine to do the content filtering instead of applying it to the entire zone. Uh, in the old way that we had seen on content filtering. Okay, uh, those are the five tips that we have. Hopefully it'll uh, speed up your user's browsing process. 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please enter them in below. Have a great day.